It's a um, great time. Start thinking about the end. Start thinking about what God's done in the person of Christ Jesus. And um, well, to just to uh, stay it lightly, start getting excited. Now, I remember uh, Brother Michael started ministering, and he brought up this thing that all are tested through the means of Babylon. Now, we, we are living in a time when it's covered the face of the whole earth. In other words, look at it like this. When you see someone that has shelved the gospel and has taken unto themselves a psychological approach to salvation, how do you feel about that? Exactly. How do you? Do you get it? You, it's like in, in, you get indignated. He's you, like, yeah, they filled with wrath. Why? Because you see that they've, they've turned aside the people. Now, some people can be turned aside just by a wrong approach to God. Remember, he said, don't, don't measure the outer court. Why? Because it's been given unto the Gentiles. Now, Brother Rich Jankowski took it upon himself when the assembly up there closed down to call all the churches in the area. And he told me he was faithful to call them all in the phone book. He asked them one question, how do you come to God? And he said he never got the same answer twice. Now, what's wrong with that picture? The outer court was given unto the Gentiles. You, you had to come through the outer court to get to the inner court, right? So everyone's made up their own way. Because every man's ways are right in his own eyes. This is Babylon we're talking about. This is what Babylon's done. It's come up with another way, a convenient way. But it just so happens to be not God's way. How does that make you feel? How, how does he, when you look at that, how, what, what does it do to you? Now this is what I'm saying is this is how you judge yourself. How do you know if you've overcome Babylon? Well, if, you, if that makes you feel angry... Then see, you've, you've, been, you've been delivered from Babylon. Now, I like this thinking that Daniel was in Babylon all this time and yet wasn't corrupted by it. It didn't, it couldn't corrupt him. Why? Brother Michael told us, because faith always wins. Now think about that. You say, well, I know people who had faith and they fell. No, they didn't. When they had faith, they stood. It's when they didn't have faith that they fell. Amen. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. It says, who are these that are arrayed in white? Where did they come from? Well, these, these are they. There are some chosen people, brethren. They're chosen by God. These are they that have come out of great tribulation. What are, they, what are you talking about? They came out of Babylon. It wasn't able to turn their minds. It wasn't. Now, the exhortation to us is to examine ourselves. We do this every day. You examine yourself to see whether or not you be in the kingdom, in the faith. Am I overcoming? Because if I'm not, i got to stop right now. This has to be rectified right now, and i got to start walking by faith and not by sight. And when that's done, whether you make the connection or not, you're overcoming Babylon. In other words, it doesn't have any power over you. It can't make you serve the beast because you're overcoming by the power of God. This, this is a great thing. Of course, to, you know, those who have suffered at any time at all in Babylon can taste of the sweetness of the victory of being delivered from it. Yeah. I don't have to serve a, a form. No, I don't have to. I can serve God in the spirit. Yeah, I can walk by faith and not by sight. I don't have to be dominated by the here and now and, and think like, well, how many people go to your assembly? I know you've all had this question. Well, how many people? And then they, uh, 40, 50, 60. Uh, well, let's, let's count them all now. Let's count everyone. Let's not forget all those who are here, the great cloud of witnesses, the angels that showed up. In fact, the, you know, we, the sun showed up at our assembly. How about yours? See, you, you don't think the same when you're delivered from Babylon, is my point. You don't think the same, and if you've made that leap by walking by faith, you're delivered from this present evil world, and actually, you're ready. You can say, at any point in time, even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. What is that? That's being delivered from Babylon. Any uh, words from the brethren today? <laughs>